Good evening. Good evening. Hi, bro. Good evening. Hello. How are you today? <laughs> fine, fine. I am fine. hungry, but I cook. Oh. I, yes, I am. Yeah, I don't hungry. <laughs> <That's for me. laughs> and you're eating. You eat. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um. I am. I. I am go. I am getting the house. I'm finish oh. my work. Yes. It's good. It's yep. good. Because my cell phone, I don't have charge. Oh, and my phone is low battery, uh, but my ch charger I, is in my in my room. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening, guys. Thank you for your punctuality. Thank you very much, Miguel, Marcos, Marielos, Sirhan, and now Boris. Right. Um. Today, as you know. Uh, we're about to end the module. So tomorrow we're gonna be ending this module. So we only have two more classes and then it's over. I'm guessing we're gonna wait. I don't know guys. I don't know how long it's going to be the wait. Cause wait a second. I have allergies today, sorry about that. Um, so I, I'm, I'm guessing one week. I don't know how long did we wait last last module? Did we wait one week or two weeks? How long did we wait? Do you remember? I don't remember. Because you know that um, it's coming the 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 the. the the Holy Week is coming. So that can be. Holy Week is coming in. Uh, the, April. Second, the second week of April, right? Yes. I don't know. Are in that Sunday 10th. Yeah, that's, that's when it's going to start. April 10th. Wait a second. Just here, English, Principiante Modulo 4. That's not you. Oh, no, 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 no. That was the one that I just started. Uh, wait a second, wait a second. Yeah, this is the one. Pre-advanced 24th of February to the 22nd of March. That was English, but I want so. Let him move it. Y el anterior lo habíamos empezado. El 17 de enero al 10 de febrero. Yo creo que perdí un día y empezamos como el 11 terminamos, 10, no, el 10 terminamos, 10 de febrero. Y el siguiente lo empezamos el 24 de febrero. O sea que esperamos dos semanas. We waited for two weeks from the 10th to the 24th. Before holiday, holy week. No, 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 no. The last module, the last module, oh, no. we waited for two weeks. Yes. But in this one, we're finishing the 22nd. So I'm guessing maybe we're going to be starting again on the 5th or on Monday 4th. Maybe on Monday 4th, we're going to be starting on Monday 4th. Okay. Um, if we started on Monday 4th or Thursday, I mean, Tuesday 5th, then we're gonna have classes for one week 
And then we're gonna pause for the Holy Week, right? And then we're gonna come back to classes. So I'm guessing if we start before the Holy Week starts, we're gonna have one week classes and then we're gonna wait. But if not, then we will have to wait this coming week, next week, the Holy Week, and then we're gonna be back. I don't know, I, I, I still don't know. You know, these things are about like the paperwork, if you finish your paperwork, if you have all your papers complete, that, that's, it depends on so many things. It doesn't depend on just one thing. So hopefully we start the first week of April. Um, I want to start the first week of April because it's uh, sometimes when you wait too long and coming back, it's, it's really hard. Perfect. But I'm guessing, I'm, I'm just guessing that. Okay, perfect. Um, I know that we only have two more classes. I know that sometimes you can be like, yeah, two more classes. I don't want to connect to the class because just two classes is not a lot. I know, but thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate that seven of you are here in the class and I'm happy to have you here. Now, we're gonna be talking a little bit about the past and predicting the future with Will. So we're gonna be talking about two different, completely different topics. But as the first topic is the past, we're gonna go to the breaker rooms and I want you to speak. And I want you to speak about your weekend. What did you do? in your weekend, okay? What did you do on Friday? We're gonna start on Friday because we don't have classes on Friday. So we're gonna have to talk about three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, okay? So you, your question is going to be, what did you do on your weekend? And then you're gonna describe what you did on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. For example, I can start describing. So on Sunday, no, I mean Friday, <laughs> my weekends are weird. So Friday, I came home before my work in the school. I taught a private class from 1 p 1 30 p.m. to 2 30 p.m. Then I had some friends over my house and we went together to Alegria. I don't know if you know Alegria, but we went together to Alegria uh, Friday evening. We had lunch there. Then we came back around 8 p.m., 8-ish, 9-ish p.m. And then I started planning my class for the weekend. Then on Saturday, I woke up late and I went to San Salvador because I had classes there. I taught my classes from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Then I went to my uncle's house. It was raining really hard, right? It was raining really hard on, on Saturday. Um, I, I, I went from Paseo General Escalón to Santa Tecla. There's my job and then where my uncle lives. Then uh, there was nobody home. <laughs> it was just me. So I made some, I, I, I did, I did some, I made some, some eggs for dinner with beans and cheese. Then I went to bed early because I was really tired. I'm always tired. <laughs> and then I woke up the next morning. I was so, so um, deep sleep. Like I, I, I fall asleep so bad that I thought I was in my house. I forgot that I was in my uncle's house. I woke up took a shower, had breakfast. Uh, then I drove to my work, Inglés Corporativo. I got there before 8 a.m. I taught my classes from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then I came home. And in the afternoon, evening, I went to my in-laws house. Then I went to a restaurant and then I came home. And today I had to go to work again because I'm always working. <laughs> so what about you guys? What about your weekend? I told you about my weekend and I was really specific on the days and what I did. So I want you to do the same thing because I want you to practice talking about the past. Yes. 
And remember when you're gonna say in a specific time, like on Sunday evening, you use the preposition on, not in Sunday evening. No, it's not correct. On Sunday evening, okay? So let's try to work on this. And I want to see everybody participating. There you go. Glenda. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, yes, I can. How are you, Brenda? Mm, very good, thank you. And you're late. Yes, always. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. So your classmates are in the breakout rooms and they are talking about the past like talking about, uh, for example, what did you do on your weekend? And because we don't have classes on Friday, we're gonna start telling about our weekends since Friday, like from Friday to Sunday. So you're gonna describe the things you did on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, okay? Good. Okay, I'm gonna send you to a breaker room. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This one, it's there. Milton. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. What happened? We so, the, the your classmates are right now practicing in the breaker rooms. They are practicing talking about the past. So we're gonna practice talking about what you did on your weekend. For example, what you did on Sun, I mean, what you did on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, okay? Okay, two days. No, oh, Friday, oh. Saturday and Sunday. So you're ah, gonna okay. talk about the activities you did those days. Okay, and then you put in, in, in group. Yeah, you talk One about group. it. You, you, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you to a break room right now. Okay. Mm -hmm.
but um, just in free time. What about you, Gabby? Uh, I love to play uh, football. Football, wow. <laughs> time. And you like the watch uh, the play the soccer? Yes, I like it. Uh, <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I don't like the football. Really? No, I don't like it. Oh. I I like to see the in the TV sport cycling. You only yeah. like to watch, not to play. <laughs> no, no watch. <laughs> only race or but no, no football set. <laughs> uh, I like football, but when I was younger, I I I like to to play soccer. But, but you are no. I I watch the the play the play soccer of a friends only a friend only only watch. Uh, at, at night is normally I I. I went uh, to eat uh, pupusas. And then I was uh, late, I watched the TV, only the, the, the movies, the action movies, and Milton, then only. Milton. Hola? What? Can, can you say watch? What? Okay. Can you say? No, because you say watch. And what, I thought what, like wash TV what, is like <laughs> you know what, washing your TV. Uh, watching TV. Watch is watch. But the, is it the past? What? What? Watch. What? What? Watch. Watching. No, watching watched. with the TV. with the letter T at the end. Watched. Watched. Uh, what? What? Yeah, correct. Correct. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And okay, continue. Yeah, you can continue. Okay, uh, and the so
Hello, welcome back. You didn't want to come here to the main, main session. You were really entertained speaking in the breakout rooms, right? Yeah. So we were talking about the past, we're talking about what we did, okay? Remember, you can say on, on, on Friday. Then again, something that I have noticed with you guys, like something that is happening there, is like the pronunciation of the letter, well, the, the two letters, the H, T H. It's making a confusion maybe. And also the sound of the letter T or D at the end of the regular verbs. I think you're having a little bit of trouble with it. Remember I told you there are voiceless and voice sounds that you can do this to identify them. But if you don't do it, if you don't practice it, it's not going to be possible to do the correct pronunciation. So try to practice a little bit more. Also, I want to thank the people to, who have the cameras on, for example, Maria, Los Miguel, Milton, and Jasmine, because I don't know why the other ones don't have the cameras on. Remember, you have to um, prove that it's yourself, right? Perfect. That's better. That's better. I have more people now, because at the beginning, it was only like four students or three students at the beginning. Thank you very much to the ones that have the cameras on. Now, um, I want to talk about the future. We were talking about the past, but now I want to talk about the future. What do you think is going to happen in the coming years? For example, what do you think will happen with COVID? Let's try to predict the future. What do you think will happen with COVID? Do you think we will be using face masks all the time? Do you think we will create immunity to the, to the COVID? Do you think we will, I don't know, have more, um, I don't know, like pandemic? Do you think we will have more pandemics like this one? Do you think it's possible? It will be possible to go out without a face mask. What do you think it's going to happen in the future related with COVID? I want to see, uh, I want to hear your participations. So if you can raise your hand and participate. If not, I'm going to choose a person, mausocraticamente. Teacher. Uh -huh. How do you say doses? Doses. Doses? Doses. 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 Okay, thank you. Well, I thought I thought he was going to participate. <laughs> I have my third doses. I, I, I think you're gonna have the four shot, right? Now it's possible to have four. No, I only have my third one. My third one was Pfizer, I think. Teacher, I I I think I think I is is it possible? Is necessary for for those seats? Okay. Yeah. Uh, like. I don't know, guys, if you knew that with influenza, like with the flu, like the common flu, we have to get one shot every okay. year. Okay, it's the same. Yeah, but we it's have to same. get one it's shot every, every year. year. Yes. And people don't get it, right? People just don't get it. But we, so we're supposed to get one shot because influenza is becoming like stronger every year. With the pass of the years, it becomes, it becomes stronger. But now with the COVID, what do you think is going to happen? Okay, Sirhan, thank you. I think I think that we will continue the same. Okay. And, and that there may be more virus. Viruses? Coming, uh, viruses for the coming year, I think. It's my point of view. Okay, okay. Thank you, Sirhan. Thank you very much for your participation. Anybody else? <laughs> Jasmine is our shy today. Jasmine, I know you want to participate. Come on. 
Okay, in my opinion, I think that maybe it's that the coronavirus, it will be like uh, the other, um, Ay, ¿cómo se dice enfermedades? Sickness or illnesses. Yes. Like the other illness, illnesses. Así se dice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that we have uh, at hasta ahorita. Until now. Until now. So maybe uh, in the future we. I don't know, maybe we don't have to use the face mask, but because, I don't know, maybe we, we normalize the situation. Uh, and for the people forget the, the, the virus, like virus. the other virus, sorry, like as, like the other, uh, Illness, illnesses. So I don't know. Maybe we forgot for we, we will forget the the virus. Okay. Thank you, Jasmine, for your participation. Okay. Anybody else? Um for my opinion, I'd seen the 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 virus this this virus virus is is common in our environment um but um, in this case in this case the coronavirus uh, is a is a strong virus and it's a mortal virus uh, but but all people um aprendimos <laughs> we learned we're learning, uh, but but the other people we're learning uh, uh, to make to to um, to be more uh, carefully with use uh, make make us how do you say it? Make us and wash our hands. Don't touch or Eyes, uh, mouth, only oh, all, all the all, all the face, <laughs> and okay. also uh, care the the. Uh, ¿Cómo sería apartarse? To be away. To, to be away and the, to the other people. Um, That's it. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you, Alex. Yes, I don't know, guys, if you realize that since COVID started, we have gotten less flu cases or less um, cough cases. I haven't, I haven't had a cough since 2019. I haven't had a cough. I had like one flu i think i had one but because we're more caref careful now we wash our hands right some people because i have gone to some public uh restrooms and they do and that's it like clean hands clean and you know i learned something in the in the pandemic during the um, quarantine i learned that we have to do this that we have to do that right and we have to wash it like this, then like that, right? Something like that. But people don't do it anymore. Anyhow, um, when we wear face masks, some people wash the face mask and they reuse it, which is not correct. But eh. um, then we use face mask, we use hand sanitizer. We sometimes take the social distancing from people, sometimes. Sometimes we don't, but yeah. Anyhow, very good. Now, I was asking you about the predictions of the future about the virus. 
It's coronavirus and it's virus. The pronunciation is virus in any case, because I, <laughs> I had a lot of uh, mispronunciations. Yeah. Virus and coronavirus. Also pandemic. I remember Nikki, Nikki, Ninja, Nikki, Jan, Nikki Minaj. Coronavirus. Yeah, that's not Nikki Minaj. And she will be really mad if you call her Nikki Minaj. That's Cardi B. Coronavirus. Yeah. yeah, that's Cardi B. If you call Nikki Minaj, Cardi B, or the other way around, they're gonna be so mad because they are enemies. <laughs> so don't call her that. <laughs> okay. Anyways, yes, Cardi B was saying coronavirus, and yes, it's coronavirus. Um, pandemic. Another pronunciation is pandemic. Coronavirus. Quarantine. Quarantine. That's quarantine. Pandemic. Coronavirus. Quarantine. COVID. COVID. No, COVID. COVID. COVID nineteen. And I th hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer, that's hand sanitizer. And face, like your face, like your Facebook, face mask, like mascara, face mask. That's the face mask. Like, la. so this is the face mask. I think we all have a face mask around us. There's always one face mask close to, <laughs> close to you. And the face mask, guys, um, not like the. Sorry, guys. Se les ha pasado que de la nada tienen el la cosita donde está el agua y de la nada pum se mueve sola y, y hace burbujitas sola y eso lo asusta uno. <laughs> that just yeah. happened to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> What I was going to say is that the face mask, not the hamaca de papada, yeah, right? Like we use it like. <laughs> We want our, our papadas to be so comfortable in the hammock. <laughs> okay, anyhow, now we have the vocabulary and the correct pronunciations. Mariela, do you want to say something? Because you turn on your mic or no? Oh, no. <laughs> Only I think uh, um, coronavirus is, is correct. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that will be um, this type of maybe. Uh, or we uh, will uh, custom uh, custom website. We will we will get used to. We will you get used to. We will get, we will get used to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to the illness, maybe because uh, I I I see the people is is um, confiado. I don't know. It's... They are like chill about it. Chill like about it, yeah. Chill about it, yes. Um, I think we we will use ma a face mask only this year, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think as well. I think. Yeah. I think. And and the the in the future maybe a coronavirus will be like another illness yeah like a flu it will flu. be like a flu yeah but it's possible in the future we have another pandemic maybe yeah. and maybe it's gonna be worse right because the environment is really contaminated okay. yeah so that's why guys <laughs> sometimes <laughs> the generations like the old generation said hey, the kids today, they don't want to have kids. Like the young people, they don't want to have kids. But that's why, because we don't want to have kids. <laughs> because we have a lot of pandemics. We have a lot of rain, like a lot of catastrophes, a lot of disasters going on in the earth right now. So people were saying like, we need to stop and we need to take care of the environment because if we don't, we're gonna lose everything and we will disappear like this. Actually, people, we the people are like the virus of the planet earth. When we disappear, the earth, it's going to be healing. It's going to recover and it's going to be healthy. 
because we are the virus. <laughs> now, these guys, this is something to protect ourselves. But this here, this is contamination, right? This is contamination. So everything, everything we use is just contamination for the environment. Now, yeah, that's, that's another topic and it's complicated. Sometimes it's polemic to talk about it, but anyways, <laughs> let's go with the, the, the structure that I was talking to you about. So we were talking about the future and we were making predictions. If you see in the topic 5.7, we talk about predictions and talk about how we use, will talk about the future or predictions in the future. Um, I always say that will is more like a prediction and going to, it's more like a future, a certain future. Will in this case, when you say, I think we will get used to, the virus, in this case, you're talking about the future, predicting the future. You're also saying, I think. Now here, will, it's there to talk about the future. It's going to help the verb, that in this case is get, to be in the future tense. Now, the structure, the correct, the correct structure to talk about the future is to use will, and then the verb next to will, needs to be in the base form. Will plus verb in the base form. Okay. For example, I or we will use face masks for one year. Okay, we will use face masks for one year. That's a prediction that I'm making. Like, I don't know if we will, maybe we will for two years or maybe this year we're going to stop, right? By January, maybe we won't be wearing face masks. But this is the prediction and affirmative prediction. Now we also have the negative predictions. The negative predictions, it's going to be want. Want is the abbreviation for will not, okay. I can also talk about predictions with want. For example, we won't have to wear face mask. So in the future, maybe we won't have to wear face mask. Maybe in the future, we'll go, we will have to wear a complete, custom like astronauts <laughs> maybe we will be like astronauts astronauts okay so want is to talk about predictions negative predictions in the future want is will not but in abbreviation another example can be covid won't be eliminated COVID will be like a flu. So COVID won't be eliminated, right? It won't disappear. COVID will, will, COVID will be like a flu. In this case, I'm using will, affirmative statement, and want negative statement. Talk about our complete prediction. COVID won't be eliminated. COVID will be like a flu. Now, let's talk about a different topic in this moment. The topic we're going to talk about, well, the same topic, like will and want, but in this case, I want you to answer this question. What do you think will happen with computers and phones? in the future? The next question is, do you think there will be a cure for 
cancer. Like not, um, what is the name of this thing? Not chemo, not chemo. I'm not talking about chemotherapy. I'm talking about a re real, real, real cure for cancer. So we're going to talk about these questions. I want you to speak about these questions. Like if you can write them down, if you can't, please take a screenshot because we're going to practice in the break rooms with these questions. The first question again is, what do you think will happen with computers and phones in the future? And the second question is, do you think, do you think, 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 there will be a cure for cancer? Guys, be careful when you say these words like think and thank you. Think is think, think, think. think. It's not think. think. Do you think, no, no, I don't know think. who lied to you and say that think. the pronunciation is think, think, think. Do you think there will be a cure for cancer? Okay, perfect. Do you have it? Yes. You're ready? Yes. Okay, perfect. Remember in the breakout rooms, you have a time to practice. It's not a time um, to be quiet. In this moment, we need to practice and we need to speak because when I'm here, I'm speaking and I need you to speak. Let me see. Yeah, that's correct. Perfect, let's go. Marcos, you don't have your invite?
end of the world because I think it is going to be something like, uh, I think it is something, it's going to be some stupid at certain point because you are going to be in a, in a relationship with another person. You are going to be kissing another person person and the distance and I think it is not going to be not going to be right because uh, I think uh, so many things must be physically because you you cannot uh, you 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 are not right if you are going to have a boyfriend and you are going to be kissing your boyfriend in that so the 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 enfermedad enfermedad I don't know what do you say enfermedad illness Illness, illness, and then it's possible the laboratory create a, a new medicine, but the the illness is there are uh, more more stronger. Um, more stronger? That, um, more, no, just stronger. Just stronger? Yes. Okay, and yeah, and dangerous and dangerous still too. Okay, only. Uh, it will um, charging with using the solar, the solar and energy is possible. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, we have, we have uh, there. We have that. Uh, we, uh, I, I think that uh, uh, too but the uh, uh, solar energy and uh, is the future is the energy of the future and uh, uh, in the future uh, uh, we will invention uh, we will make or we will create we uh, we will make we will make we will make uh, uh, other other kind of the of the of the almacenar
Hello. Yeah, we're gonna we're about to leave, but your classmates are not coming here. I'm waiting for them. Perfect. There we are. Good. So tomorrow we will talk a little bit more about this topic, but also tomorrow we're gonna. I hope that you have completed the platform because today was the last day. So I really hope you completed the platform. And then tomorrow we're gonna do a review of the final exam, as well as um, I'll, I'll let's check on this topic, but it's going to be tomorrow, okay? So please don't forget to be here tomorrow because it's our final class, yes? Yeah. Okay, yes. have a good tomorrow. night. Hey, teacher. Good, 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 evening. Evening. Good, good night, good night, bye-bye. Good night, good night. Good night teacher. Bye. Bye.